Bubbles. Light, gentle, and harmless. Understanding bubble dynamics is a key interest to scientists across many different fields. But for scientists simulating flow in chemical reactors, these bubbles can present a problem. The multi-phase flow creates a complex set of equations difficult to model by even the most robust simulation tools. For example, the scale-up of gas-solids reactors like chemical looping reactors offers a promising solution for reducing CO2 emissions from commercial power plants. In a chemical looping reactor, fuel reacts with oxygen in a solid carrier instead of the air. The carrier cycles around the reactor, reacting with fuel and subsequently being reoxidized with air. The output is a stream of CO2 and water which can be stored or recycled. In the fluidized beds, large numbers of bubbles can form, causing poor gas-solids mixing and lowering conversion efficiency. Thus, the cost of scale-up and testing of chemical looping reactors for wide-scale implementation is expensive and time-consuming. As part of the Exascale Computing Project, scientists are targeting this problem by using high amounts of computational power to understand how and when they form, and how to prevent them. To simulate the fluidized bed, raw unstructured particle data is converted to a density field. Domain experts interactively select a known bubble region, and statistically similar regions are identified to form a similarity field. The similarity field ranges from 0 to 1 and indicates how much each data partition resembles the selected bubble density Gaussian field properties. The similarity field is output from the simulation and becomes the input for the post hoc analysis workflow. The post hoc analysis uses Cinema, a novel visualization tool to track bubble features such as volume or velocity. This allows the domain scientists to flexibly study the bubble dynamics and track merge and splitting events. The analysis method enables tracking of single bubbles as well as all the bubbles from a selected time step. We can observe the changes in fluid velocity as the bubbles rise upwards, move laterally, and combine to form new bubbles. A higher value in the particle rise velocity scalar field indicated regions with a high velocity in the positive x direction. Smaller bubbles develop at the bottom of the fluid ice bed, while fluid to the left and right of each bubble flows downward to counteract the rising flow. A distribution of still fluid next to the bubbles and high velocity particles above and below generates a circular flow, causing the bubbles to rise. As bubbles rise and merge, they form large low density regions, which may cause issues with reactor efficiency. Combining expertise in high-performance computing with multi-phase flow modeling algorithms outperforms previously existing codes. Additionally, processing in situ allows for novel post-hoc analysis capabilities. Chemical looping reactors offer a viable path to help the U.S. address climate change and meet the DOE goal to achieve net zero emissions in the near future. With the power of exascale computing, the opportunity arises to greatly reduce scale-up and testing costs through accurate scaling and testing runs.